nose is divided into two halves by the nasal septum and turbinates are the structures which help to moisten and warm the air before it goes into the lungs while breathing. As we know that more than 50% of the world's population has some kind of deviated septum and turbinate hypertrophy which also happens because of allergy. So Hello, I am Dr. Vikas Agrawal, ENT surgeon with special interest in sinus, snoring and sleep apnea disorders. So let us talk today about revision septoplasty and turbinoplasty when it is required. So what is septoplasty, what is turbinoplasty which we already discussed in our previous video that nose is divided into two halves by the nasal septum and turbinates are the structures which help to moisten and warm the air before it goes into the lungs while breathing. So as we know that more than 50% of the world's population has some kind of deviated septum and turbinate hypertrophy which also happens because of allergy. So many patients have already undergone a septoplasty and turbinoplasty procedure which has not given them effective relief. So these patients should not get disheartened just because the first surgery has failed. If they go to an experienced ENT surgeon and perform the endoscopy and CT scan again, first of all, it can be figured out whether the problem was because of improper surgery or whether the problem has recurred because of allergy. So generally septoplasty is incompletely performed because of the fear of going very high near the brain and if that part the high septum is not dealt with with endoscopic surgery it can be very easily and conclusively dealt with. So no one needs to carry a crooked nose for life because it can always be corrected a second time. With the endoscopic septoplasty the high deviated septum can be very effectively taken care of. Coming to turbinoplasty if the turbinate has not been inadequately operated or it has regrown again because of allergy then again there are specialized techniques like coblation which can take care of the fleshy part of the turbinate and there are techniques like sonopet which can take care of the bony part of the inferior turbinate and by tackling these two parts separately in a complete manner a revision septoplasty is again highly effective. So in nutshell no one should sleep with a blocked nose and a revision septoplasty and turbinoplasty is a routine procedure which can give very very good results in experienced hands with proper techniques and technology. Thank you.